Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel everybody. Today we'll be taking a first look at one of the earliest betas of the 2014 Security Suites. Uh, it's AVG who have released the beta for their 2014 Internet Security. So basically it's uh, their first beta and uh, they've not changed too much of the user interface as far as I can see and uh, we'll just take a look at it throw some links at it and see how it reacts now first of all uh, the user interface it's still the same as the old version which uh, you know I don't really have too many complaints about there's one thing that I really wanted to see that was maybe some more details under identity protection and maybe give the user some control over it but maybe uh, what they want is to try to keep things simple because I've seen it many times when uh, in security suites like Komodo they give you a lot of customization options users end up messing it up especially people who don't know what they're doing so maybe for a company like AVG it's best to hide something like that so taking a look at it it's still very similar to the last version they have improved their firewall but I don't really know what these improvements are. Now you can change these settings, that's nice. And uh, apart from that, it's just pretty much the uh, same as the last version. Let's do an update. You can see it's 2014 build 4016. And it's quite early, so I'm sure they'll bring in some modifications. But to start with, let's see if they have got any real changes to the security part, the way the behavior blocker responds and all that, and the way, you know, the signatures respond, because a lot of people had complaints with those issues. So let's give it a try. I won't be doing any performance testing, because this is a beta. So first one, uh been detected it's a Trojan horse and it's been quarantined so that's nice I've got some really fresh uh, zero day links so should be a good test for AVG regardless of it being a beta or not it's still using the same signature so that'll give us a good idea a lot of these files have really low detection rates thought I heard uh, some kind of alert in the background. No? The server is certainly not the fastest. And the full size is unknown, so that's interesting. I'll pause the video while this downloads and I'll be right back. So the file finally downloaded and it's cut by AVG. It's kind of some kind of adware so we will remove that. Now tell you what this threat was not really that dangerous because it took so long to download most of you would have probably just cancelled it anyway. So moving right along this is number three for AVG and I have a bad feeling that this is going to take just as long because it's from the same website so it looks like my prediction is coming true so I'll have to pause again This one seems to have uh, bypassed AVG's basic defenses. Nothing from IDP so far. So we shall proceed. 
Well, you know the last one was quite dangerous because it didn't take quite that long, so most people would be patient enough to just download it. So we are about to run this file, but what's interesting is the last one seems to have disappeared from memory. So it came in, did something quite quick, and then just uh, vanished. Interesting. This one doesn't seem to work. So we'll just proceed to the next one. No shortage of malware links today. I found plenty of them. As you saw, this one was caught by AVG signatures. Hmm, this is nice. Uh, this process has been missed by AVG, but uh, looks like it was trying to modify the host file, trying to mess around here, and uh, that got caught. So, probably most of the damage prevented. Quick removal process, that's nice. Well, the last one was way too big uh, to actually be a piece of malware, and uh, nobody would download it anyway, so, you know, I'm just going to continue. And this one was caught by the signatures. This one's caught again, it's a uh, Trojan horse. Uh, the signature's doing their job. Here's the last one. This is an installer. Let's see what it installs. Access is denied. And this is why. So pretty much the infected file that the installer was trying to install has been cut. So it's going to be removed now. So that one was cut. But I did see a couple of things here and there for which uh, no alert was given by antivirus Grisoft, so let's take a look here if we've got anything fishy running around I don't see anything so far nope so we'll pretty much leave it to malwarebytes so I'll do a scan with malwarebytes and I'll be right back with the results Malwarebytes has completed scanning and it's found quite some items here. Let's start with this backdoor agent, which is present in uh, program file. So apparently that kind of program that it was trying to install has left some traces here. This is the uninstall file. Then we've got this folder. Then we've got a text file, VBS file, a bat file. So. There's certainly some uh, files left over that are capable of infecting the system. Now apart from this uh, one big program that got through and it's made a registry key as well. Apart from that we've got a hijack trace. Uh, 
if you remember the file that was trying to probably modify the host file it got stopped and uh, it was remodified to the default host file well it looks like it's got some trace left over here maybe this is the file from which it was trying to copy itself to the host file so whatever the case we've got a couple of misses um, so it's certainly not a clean sheet or anything of that sort now let's do a scan with Hitman Pro just to be sure that this computer hasn't got anything left on it. So as you can see Hitman Pro 2 has found something left by both AVG and Malwarebytes now to start with. This is agent.exe cut by both GData and Icarus. It's present in program data so you know it's not a good thing you've got a piece of adware cut by engine A from GData and it's again in program data they're both pieces of riskware so probably not too serious and then we've got a registry key that is uh, you know some kind of trace I guess so well far from the ideal result for a company like AVG that is developing so much um, I'd certainly like to see better from uh, this in the near future. Of course, this is a beta and it's not a final verdict, but um, it's an average performance by a not so average security product. I mean, you certainly expect AVG to do better than this. Uh, so, there's lots of room for improvement. I would certainly want uh, to start with, uh, I'd certainly want identity protection to be more interactive. I know that makes it a little less user friendly, but uh, I'd rather have a little less user friendly antivirus, uh, which is totally unfriendly to viruses, rather than have uh, a user friendly antivirus uh, that is also friendly to viruses. So, I mean, in this day and age, it's almost impossible to catch. Uh, most of the new emerging malware without any kind of user interaction because it's absolutely impossible to automate all of the decisions so I'd certainly like this component if it's going to be more effective I'd like it to be interactive because without that you just cannot have a fully secure security software now I know this would do well on most computers but uh, and for most simple users I guess this is good but uh, for someone like me, I'd certainly like more security, maybe in exchange for a little bit of, uh, you know, user unfriendliness, maybe some more alerts. I wouldn't mind that. So that's it for today. I think you saw how AVG did. This is internet security, remember? So a lot is expected of this. Uh, not quite uh, according to plan, I guess, but. Uh, still in beta I'm looking forward to see some improvements and uh, I guess that's it hope you guys enjoyed this review stay uh, tuned for more videos and uh, you know one more thing uh, please like my Facebook page uh, why I'm saying this is because I'm conducting some polls and stuff there so you guys might want to participate in that for example I, I'm just conducting a poll at the moment on what I should test next and I think I've got only five or six votes which is ridiculous considering the number of subscribers I have so guys please go on Facebook even if you don't want to like the page participate in the polls I want to make this interactive just like AVG's identity protection that would make it a lot more interesting so, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.